What's up, everyone? Happy Sunday. It's the Moral Compass. Poppy. And this is the Ride and Pain Horror Movie Club, episode 33. We're going to discuss the barn today. Joining me, we got Dexter Weeks. What's up, Dex? What's going on, everybody? And, of course, we got Enrico Bada. What's up, Bada Bingster? What's up, Bada Bingster in the house? <laughs> we, we almost have everyone. What, 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 what was everyone's guesses on whether Chris was going to show or not? How <laughs> <laughs> football's on, I guess, you know, so. That's all right. It, it, you know, we, we should just make, you know, there's two things you can rely on. Chris not watching the movie and first in the chat – our guy. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Our penguin's not here? What? <laughs> Chauncey. What up, What's Chauncey? going on here? What's up, buddy? Congratulations, Chauncey. First in the chat. Mark, Mark's got to be second. Nope. Corey hey, Martin. What's going <laughs> on here? <laughs> it's uh, did, Wacky Sunday, Mark. Did, did they have that? Uh, wacky Sunday. <laughs> Did they have that haunted pizza uh, universal meetup already? <laughs> and we didn't know about it. <laughs> we got uh, Nicholas Gear in the house. What's up, Nicholas? Well, oh, here you go, Mark Pengren. Sorry, Chauncey. I was first last night. Uh, your 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 uh, comment didn't show up though, Mark. I, I think that's a little suspect. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mark says he went to Chipotle for the first time in like three years. They said they are a card only. I said no thank you and walked out. That's crazy. Cash is dead anymore, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. It really is. We got Yang Yan Zhao in the house. What's up, man? Thanks, Thanks for joining us. Dexter, cash isn't dead among like a bunch of uh, Italians from South Philly. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Me and a bunch of my cousins, uh, we uh, we went out for like a like a cousin's dinner, and uh, literally everybody had threw cash on the table. I yeah. mean, there was like eight of us. Every everybody <laughs> threw cash on the table. Good for you, man. Good for you. And we were all laughing about it because we're you know not nobody whipped out cards or anything. Right, we all right. threw cash. Uh, Nicholas Gear says zero percent chance of a grave sighting. <laughs> Chauncey told uh, Ice Pick, "We're living in the now." That comment last night doesn't count. <laughs> uh, Mark says, uh, Chris is busy doing the Lord's work, finishing uh, Shinobi Sasquatch. <laughs> Actually, I think he's working on Rive and Pain uh, commissions. No, oh, yeah. Uh, Rive and Pain supposed to ship from the printer tomorrow. I'm, I'm so excited. I, I spent all of uh, last night uh, bag uh, putting bags and boards and uh, stretch goals uh, oh. together uh, while I watched the, the uh, Royal Rumble. So... What, you know, comics and wrestling. What, what's better than that? Double whammy. <laughs> Who helped you put it all together? Sean helped you? No, I, I asked him. He says that doesn't sound like fun. Uh, yeah. Missy helped me. She helped me oh, nice. for uh, like four yeah. hours. So nice. Should have called me. <laughs> I should have. You were right around the corner. Oh, I'm speaking putting... of Missy, there she is. Oh, he's up for putting comics in bags. That sounds like a, a, a fun time. What What's up, up Missy? Miss... Hello, uh, Nick. Nicholas says uh, cash equals no taxes. That's ain't damn right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Chris Gray's boycotting till someone other than Mark picks a movie. This movie was <laughs> terrible. Oh, well, you're going to join us next week because I let uh, Amanda B. pick the movie. Chris, Chris has, always has some ex excuse. We'll have an excuse next week. Oh, I'm not going to, you know, join because uh, the movie started with the letter B. <laughs> does it start with the letter B? <laughs> it does. <laughs> uh, Nicholas Gear says, uh, "Chris, they ain't, they can't all be maniac cop." That's that's the early days when Chris was all gung ho about watching the movies. He's he's jaded now. The early days. <laughs> uh, Mark says, uh, remember the one time you paid your son to do that and he took the money and ran and didn't do the work? Yeah, yeah, I, I remember that. <laughs> that. <laughs> Chase was supposed to help me with fulfillment. I, I, I gave him an advance and he didn't do any work. Sounds like Chase. Yeah. Uh, Corey Barton, was there any babes in the Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I think so. 
I mean, with names like Lexi Drips and Nikki Darling, yeah. what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Lexi Drips is still my all-time favorite name. There you go. <laughs> I, I hope she appears in the sequel. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Missy Duran says, where is it? I don't get paid in cash. Oh, boy. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not a drip. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, rather than paying, uh, books, is, uh, books are supposed to uh, head out from the printer tomorrow. Uh, estimated delivery date of Friday. If they show up uh, Friday, hopefully uh, Chris can come over. We'll have a, a big signing and we'll, we'll stream it. A little bit of a celebration. Uh, man, I, I'm so excited for this book. I can't wait for people to get it. Me too. It's going to be so cool. Yeah. Yeah, the cards look great too, man. The stuff oh, you've yeah. been posting. And... Yeah, yeah. Uh, all 13 cards are in. The The last, the final card was the, uh, the Kevin Conrad foil card. Yeah, I can't wait to, uh, uh, you know, put them in all in pages and, and display them. Actually, I'm actually thinking about doing like custom card binders for, for right. an upcamp. Yeah, I think that would be neat. That's cool. Uh, Mark says this was definitely in the top five movies we've ever ever watched. <laughs> uh, Nicholas Nicholas Gear says who's dropping links? Amanda is missing. I mean, there's a, a lot of people who uh, I think have a wrench, but uh, I'll, I'll I'll drop links when we uh, get into campaigns. You know, we're speaking about Rise and Pain, uh, the Indiegogo campaign. You know what? I don't think I can drop links. <laughs> Um, that, I, my, oh, look who it is. Oh, he, there he is. The man. <laughs> what is going on, boys? <clears throat> I can't drop links. My mouse broke, so I'm trying to uh, run everything with, uh, you know, slide my finger over the, uh, Ooh. the, the laptop. Yeah. That sounds very, dirty. Yeah, it does. Uh, very hard to uh, copy and paste links. If anyone, uh, Mark Pengard, I, I believe you have a wrench. If you could drop some links, I'd appreciate it. Mm. Chris, you getting excited? For? Your book. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. That's right. That, that thing. Yeah, 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 man. I'm fucking knocking out these uh, original art tiers. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm pretty fucking stoked, man. How uh, far along are you? No, we're good. I think I got like, four more to do. And then I got, you know, I got to pull out some of the original art that like for the book that people bought, like the cover art and shit. Nice. <laughs> yeah, man, we're there though. We're there. How's the That's mic? Cool. How, how's the mic sound? Everything sound good? Just, yeah, uh, sounds good. Do this in a rush. Okay. Uh, Nicholas Gear uh, sharing links. Uh, Rather than pain, still on Fun My Comic. Only place mm -hmm. to get it. Uh, we'll be shutting that down uh, once I get word that the the books are on the way. Uh, Corey Barton says, I remember Castle Freak was an awesome old school horror movie. Might be hard to find, though. Yeah. Never heard of it. Was, an old, was that an old full moon? Uh, yep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark says, according to tracking, allegedly, my Rob Liefeld comic will be delivered in the mail tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're Mark, it. Uh, Mark uh, back that new uh, Whatnot exclusive book that mm -hmm. Rob dropped, Sweet. Last Blood. Man. Did anyone happen to see... Enrico, were you the one who shared us the uh, <laughs> the, the link? Uh, Mike Dolce does the yeah. uh, Sire Secrets of the Sire podcast. Had uh, Fabian Nietzsche on, and <laughs> Rob Rob's comment right underneath it was incredible. Uh, he stated one hundred percent bullshit. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> it was great. It was like this really nice write up uh, about like Fabian how yeah. <laughs> Much he admired him and like how well the interview went, and then right underneath he got Rob. Rob's <laughs> hmm. It really struck it struck me funny. I liked it. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I was laughing when I saw it too. Uh, Passmaster Dan says, "Stop fingering me." Oh, you like it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark, uh, yeah, a sign up for Graveyard Shift Volume Five, uh, launching oh, yeah. February first. That's that's this week. Wow. That's crazy. Shit's Locked flying, up. man. A lot going on, man. Mm -hmm. Really crazy. Uh, but speaking of campaigns, U.S. Assassin, Dogs of War, still, uh, uh, still on fun. My comic uh, early in the campaign. Uh, but guys, uh, Nicholas Gears in the chat. If you back U.S. Assassin Four and Relentless Tin Soldier Three, uh, you'll get uh, two exclusive trading cards uh, that are uh, a new subset to the 
upcoming U.S. Assassin card set. But uh, guys, Mike uh, really kill, is killing it on this book. Uh, he's drawn all four volumes of U.S. Assassin. A lot of work. Yeah, man, he's putting in the in the work over 240 yeah. pages. Uh, that's a huge body of work for uh, for anyone. I I can't remember the last time a, a mainstream artist did that many uh, consecutive pages of a of a book. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty impressive, man. Well, they do that by design now, right? Because they don't want like artists to get this like uh, like more of a following than the book. Yeah, I was reading that somewhere. Yeah, uh, Mark sure. Mark Penger, breaking news, guys. Mark Penger said uh, John Malin nixed that release date the other night on a stream. TMC Penguin's more in the know than I am. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> and you worked on it, Mark. So go figure, man. I, I created. Did he? <laughs> No, I thought that was a mail-in exclusive. Hmm. You would think that. Uh, Mark says he said it will be later in the month after his nephew's military graduation. He has to go out uh, of state. Man, uh, Malin's traveling all over the place. He, yeah, he went is. to his local comic shop the other day. Wow. He's hmm. <laughs> seeing the world in 2024. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be in Chicago in April. Yeah. But, uh, Chicago. but uh, yep, uh, C2E2, uh, end of April. Uh, I'm go going out there, too. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, hope to have some exclusives with me. You know, maybe a Coney Waves exclusive, a Rive in Pain exclusive, some uh, U.S. Assassin exclusives for the uh, for the booth. Yeah. And you say you got a booth, Mark? Uh, so uh, John, Shane Davis, and Ethan uh, bought mm -hmm. a booth, and John invited me out. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. There, there was a drama. There was a lot of drama with that booth, uh, Dex. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> oh, man. Still going. Yeah. Mm. It, it's fun. It's fun to sit on the sidelines and watch it all. Yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, Chris, did you watch the movie? I did. And I, I'm so mad at you. <laughs> I didn't pick the movie. It was picked this fucking movie, man. Well, wait, I, wait, it's a combination <laughs> thing, Mark. It's a combination. Let's listen to the backtracking. Yeah. This so, is this is like when Thomas Jane was at the Arcana booth and, and he was pissed off. off and he said, Who's in charge? And Dex <laughs> pointed at me. I <laughs> watched yes, this man. motherfucker, dude. And I am telling you, I like I started to get enraged as the movie went on. It, it literally looked like someone was at a fucking like a, a haunted hayride. And grabbed their fucking iPhone camera and decided they were going to shoot a fucking flick while they were doing a little bit stuff. of shaky cam. It's just so well, fucking bad. I, I guess he doesn't want to come with us, Mark, to the screening for the second one. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. That's a man. Hard pace. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I literally <laughs> love this movie. <laughs> it, I love. I'm gonna. I loved it too. Yeah, it had some charm. I mean, you know. Did Chris watch the whole movie? Yeah, there was a second of tits. <laughs> and they weren't that's all, even... It, it, that's it, all Corey wants to know. I know. That's, I figure that's what we're getting at here. And listen, and they were okay. You got a time capture for him? Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, is it, is it like, what's that guy that does that, Mr. Skin or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was hoping maybe I watched the wrong movie. And I'm like, was there like another bar? There was two of them, yeah. There was oh, okay. Two. Maybe I fucking watched hey, the wrong one. Did he watch one. the right one? I don't know. You, you watched. There's like the a right couple one. of friends at the end, and they're fucking. Keeping you watched the, the one. Board. There's a scarecrow, a it's pumpkin, a they a had monster. A uh, well, uh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one. A miner. You watched. Yeah, it. yeah, the miner. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Dex. What the fuck, man? Well, I can't believe you just liked it, Mark. Don't angry. What the fuck, Chris? Just not, admit you don't like fun. I love fun. I, you know, <laughs> do you though? Do I do. Because you? really, you're awfully angry. I, dude, that movie literally pissed me off. I was like, "What the fuck is he doing? Like, is he trying to make me not watch these movies anymore?" I feel uh, like Chris sounds like me with, with that one movie. Which what was it? Made Droid. Oh, the yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> you God, did you watch it? Made Droid was. Come on, don't. don't. I, 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 I was I was angry on that one. That was the Bye. one, right? That I was. Bye. Like, did you watch on. this one? 
Did you watch yeah, this one? Yeah. Listen, Enrico, Man. I have I have rankings of my favorite co-hosts on this show, and you can drop or rise depending on your your <laughs> opinion of Made Droid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all, all that gets you is a pat on the back either way. Uh, shit. I'm, I'm probably I'm the I'm the least favorite then, I guess. <laughs> Troy, I made me angry. This one was like um not I don't know. It was uh you know this one this one was almost on par with the shocker one. Mm. Oh I watch, yeah. I would watch shocker every day. Uh, again. Well, again. Oh, oh, I agree with Before you. Though, it wasn't shocker different. though, it was Reaper. Sure. Shocker Reaper. Well, yeah, shocker, I mean, or Reaper, Reaper, Reaper over this one. Yeah. Okay. For Jesus sure, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I do dig fun. I, I fucking uh, what's his the, the Roddy Roddy Piper one we watched. Where I was watching as we were oh, fucking yeah, yeah. It. it was good. He's trying to bang. I, I, his chick I, I to like fun country. movies. I I didn't watch Hell Comes to Frogtown, but I liked it. And I watched it like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> during stream. It was fun. This movie um, was god fucking awful. Missy Duran says it was a complete one eighty from the chair. <laughs> Let's do They Live now. Yeah, for sure. I don't think They Live is on Tubi. I, oh, it was. It, it was for a while, but it's not. We we it. have we have next week's movie uh, picked. Oh. I didn't pick it. You, this movie looks fantastic. I'm I'm yeah, not going to share it yet, but we should do yeah, a rotation. Like Chris should get to pick one. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. I'll pick. I'll pick. Follow. Not next week's. I'll pick the one after that. All but, right. I'll pick. And I'll you're going to watch it, right? Yeah, I guess. I'll pick one after Chris. I'll, I'll look through and like, uh, uh, I'll throw three of them in the ring, and you can pick one later. There you go. Mark, Mark said this movie had great spooky feel, and the pumpkin man effects with the candles and the eyes was a nice touch. Mark. Well, I always like pumpkin. Mark. Like, I always like pumpkin. Corey says, "What was the plot?" Okay, here's the plot. Uh, starts off back in nineteen fifty nine. Kids are at church on uh, Halloween night. And their pastor is telling them, um, you know, the rules of trick-or-treating, where they can go. And he warns them to stay away from the barn. So, of course, these two kids travel out to the barn. There's this one pushy little girl who drags this you know, poor, poor, innocent kid out there. Mm -hmm. And she's like, let's go knock on the barn. And the kid's like, uh, don't you remember what the pastor told us? And she was like, look, there's a... a jack-o'-lantern outside the barn lit up that means they're they're giving out candy they're participating in halloween so yep. so you know it's probably a trick the best candy is probably inside that barn so she goes up she knocks on the barn the doors open up and these three creatures appear and one of them has a pickaxe and <laughs> and he slams it right into the the girl's head the effects aren't the best <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the but, effects aren't the best. The costumes aren't the best. Let's the say this: I, isn't the best. I love how it was filmed to look like it was made in the eighties. Yeah. At no, one wasn't. point, there's, it, there's they e used a dollar store camera to make the fucking movie because the budget was so ass, and it just happened to have. Yeah, they a, even a at one point, <laughs> at one point, they even put the little burn mark yeah, in yeah, the yeah. corner. The I, that was, house. Like the yeah, house. that was yeah. that was such a nice touch. That was a oh, Tyler yeah. Durden move. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the kid runs, the, the the boy runs off. Then it fast forwards 30 years. Uh, so we're now in 1989. And uh, I guess they're teenagers, although they all looked like they were in their yeah. 20s. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're, they're getting ready for uh, Halloween. The one is really into it. He, he doesn't think they're too old to trick or treat. So they have big plans tomorrow. Uh, and he makes a mistake by by scaring uh, this woman who, I, I guess, runs the church in their town. And she ends up telling on him to his father. And as his punishment, he has to collect food now for the needy on Halloween. Uh, but that, that same, uh, when he finds out that same time, bless you, Enrico. Uh, uh, their favorite band announces that they're going to perform a Halloween concert. So they make plans to uh, go trick or treating, collect the food, and then go to that band's performance. And they say, "Oh, we'll just trick or treat in the nearest, the town nearest to the concert," which puts them in that town with the bard. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, they do they do a little pre gaming before they're trick or treating. And where do they happen to park? By the barn. <laughs> <laughs> and so the, the barn. <clears throat> so the the main kid he loves Halloween. He has all these rules to Halloween. He knows all the uh, the the urban legends. And they they talk about the legend of the barn. And they're like, oh, this could be the barn. And they're like, oh, let's do it. Let's let's go up and knock on it. So all six of the the <laughs> teenagers, they go and knock on the barn and the doors open. But nothing happens. And they're all like, I don't know, like if if doors magically opened, I'd be out of there. Yeah. But they, they're like, yeah, lame. Then they all go like their separate symbols. ways. There's like symbols all over the barn and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um so uh you know the 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 main kid and his two and his two best uh well his best friend and this girl he likes they decide to go trick or treating uh this other guy and his girl they decide to uh you know get a little romantic and then uh the the last guy he decides to stay at the barn and investigate what's going on here why does it stink why does it smell like you know rotten meat <laughs> who said that the the guy getting romantic or the second guy the other guy. <laughs> the, 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 the second guy, the guy who oh, stayed. Okay. Yeah. Right. No, sure. I think it was the guy getting romantic. He was a little. <laughs> Hold on, I got an earthquake yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah. You know, this is like a situation, again, like a few of these other movies we watched. On paper, it's not bad. Right, like, right. A lot, like the story's cool. You know, I love Halloween stuff. Um, all of the setup and like the lore around the barn and like all like the. Even the creepy esoteric symbols and like all that stuff, all very cool stuff. But then it's the execution <laughs> that kind of like yeah, kind of yeah, I kind of agree question. with you. But you know, you don't, don't, don't like, a great fight for this movie, Dex. No, 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 no I'm just saying <laughs> you, you can tell a movie. No, I'm, I'm not saying budget. I'm or... not saying it was the worst uh, thing ever. I, I'm just making a uh, observation. That's all. It sucked. Uh, Mark says. <laughs> Mark says uh, the movie Amanda B. Uh, picked better not be that Air Bud movie. Uh, oh, yeah, she picked uh, Spooky Buddies. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come on. It's it's cute puppies dressed up for Halloween. Oh, Chris, have, a, have, have a heart, Chris. I thought our next mm. movie was Being John Malkovich. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, Mike McMahon in the chat. What's up, Mike? What up, Mike? Uh, so Corey Barton says, sounds creepy. Yeah, this movie was this. Yeah, it had a cool premise. I guess. Yeah, it's a, like a, yeah, it's a lot of good movie stuff. Sucked. Yeah. Uh, Mark says the shots of them walking yeah. across the fields in the moonlight was a nice touch. I thought that was a little cheap looking, to be honest. Yeah, it looked cool though. <laughs> uh, Mark also says uh, they are all high school seniors having their last hurrah. Honestly, this movie, yo, know, production wise, reminded me a little of uh, what was Tales of Halloween. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, was like Halloween was like, qual like quality though. Yeah, quality. Oh my fucking god! We uh, remember that fucking way different. <laughs> Chris, I watched it more recently than you. Yeah, I know, but this is like akin <laughs> to a fucking school play. Like, I, we we I got Steve Mile in the house. What up, C? Hey, uh, Missy in, in, in agrees with Enrico. Come on. <laughs> What did Enrico say? It sucked. <laughs> like yeah. in a nice way, though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. With all due respect, the movie was absolutely fucking horrible and, <laughs> and sucked. Respectfully. Respectfully. Uh, Mark says, "Guys, it was meant to be executed like that." Yeah. It, it's a it's a yeah. 2015 movie that they made look like an 80s movie because I, I, I was I would assume because of budget. Yeah, the, I think the, they didn't want to spend the full thirty bucks it took the fucking they were given to make the goddamn movie. <laughs> they shot it on a Canon power shot, <laughs> they like really nine did. volt batteries. Uh, it got, Corey, like, Corey, oh, I got an iPhone four here. It's a, it's just our shooting this fucking thing. <laughs> Corey says uh, Chris hates this movie. Oh, uh, with a fucking passion, Corey. What's so the good. worst and best movies you guys have seen out of these? Mm. Well, Marx is an droid. We know that. So. Well, and, and let's not count. Let's not count the um. Let's be honest. You know. Terrifier two is probably yeah, the best. Yeah, let's not let, let's not count that though, because that's more of a mainstream than some of the ones we watched. Was good. You know, the fog. Yeah, fog. Love fog. That's yeah, good. 
But um, Maydroid has a special place in my heart. But to be to be fair, I've watched like five of them out of all the shows. Out of thirty three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the episodes. Yeah. <laughs> the the most vocal is the one who's put in the least work. <laughs> wow, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I mean, it's, I wouldn't exactly call it work. You know, uh, yeah, some of these suck. All right, so so the to, to keep uh, recapping for for mm. uh, Corey. Uh, so when the, the all the teens go their separate ways, uh, you have the trick or treaters. You have the the couple getting romantic, and then you have the one uh, investigating the barn. He finds he finds a, a decapitated head in with the in the, in with the chickens, <laughs> and uh, someone comes up behind him, and it's the miner. Uh, also, when uh, I, I missed this part, when they knocked on the door, you see all the creatures come to life: the uh, the miner, the scarecrow, and the uh, the pumpkin. Uh, the pumpkin head headed yeah. guy. Pumpkin. Some, of, guy. some of the best effects yeah. ever. Yeah. <laughs> you really hate this. <laughs> no, he's terrible, man. I honestly um, thought you were fucking trolling us, to be honest with you. Like, I didn't know at the time that Dex picked this piece of shit. <laughs> but I, I, I honestly thought you like you picked the worst movie you knew was in there. Just to make this oh, come on. It's got to be uh, worse honestly, ones. There has to be worse ones. I, yeah. Come no, on, yeah, I, I'm sure. Nutcrack, Nutcracker Massacre was this worse. wasn't. Look, yeah. I'll put my my own head on the chopping block. This wasn't as bad as uh, Neon Maniacs. I didn't, I didn't All know right, that. yeah. <laughs> you guys like Neon Manic Maniacs though. Right? It, it, we it like was, the idea, was, idea yeah. of Neon. Oh, Again, okay. yeah, execution yeah, yeah. Oh, not so good. But it was old. Like it's look at yeah, Pen I, I, pulling out the facts. The miner is the ancestor of the main team guy. I totally oh, missed cool. that. I didn't catch oh, that. Right. Who fucking cares? <laughs> <laughs> it's the lore. I, I it's love the lore, Chris. Like, yeah, I get the lore. And like I said, the concept was cool. <laughs> but there isn't no there's no amount of lore and cool fucking tie-ins that is gonna make this movie any good. Not not it's even the boot nanny. You you weren't in. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said I thought you said poo nanny at first. I think, <laughs> that's what I thought you said. I, Listen, like, oh. I think. Chris, are, are you yeah. saying like the visuals mm. are more important than the writing? Uh, yeah, you know, don't tell him <laughs> about that. He's fucking writers, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, Missy said they I showed his name in the hat question. at the end. I was paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I, I sort of was uh, uh, dozing off. I'm not going to lie. I, I watched it after working out, so I was a little tired. <laughs> oh, yeah. Blame. Listen, I've seen you work out without me there, uh, like, you know, really going hard. You know what I mean? I've seen your videos. You know, you yeah. weren't that tired. The movie. Ah, movie. come on. You know what I'm saying? So. Ah, mm. you're, you're just a mean person, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Corey says the visuals do matter. <laughs> um, look, you guys don't have to gang up on me because I'm a writer and you're all artists. I'm just Wait, saying I'm that writer. this is a fun movie, and you guys need to embrace mm. fun. I love fun. No, do you? Do you though? I, I do. I just don't like suck. Chris, what's what? In so what? In what's the, the in best this situation? Chris, what's the best movie we've watched in, in these of the five five of the thirty three you've watched? We just said it. We just said it. Fog. The fog. Fog's my favorite so far. Yeah. I'll have to go back and remember which ones I watched. John Carpenter, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Chris has videos of TMC. Chris like secretly videotaped me while I was working. <laughs> no, Mark, Mark, Mark in the very beginning of his workout journey started posting like little videos of him going to the gym and pictures and stuff. TMC is is the brains behind the scenes. Thank you, Seed Mile, for recognizing this. <laughs> uh, Amanda B. Mark lied to me. He told me top six. Nowhere near. Oh, <laughs> where's my girl? <laughs> I'm I'm with Penguin on this. This movie's fantastic. It had it, yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to the second one, Mark. Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait to go. So, Chris, Dex, and I we're going to go see the sequel. We're going to a movie theater to watch. Wait, it. I, I would go see the sequel in the movie theater. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah, it's like a screening. I think one of the actors are going to be there. And no way, really? That's cool. yeah. Where, where, where's this at? Like fucking oh, uh, yeah. at, at the five at the five and ten. <laughs> Ah, back. 
<laughs> at the local local sicko we're gonna have a fucking meet and greet i'm, I'm propping up from my uh, screen in the backyard we're gonna watch it <laughs> it's gonna be at the harwin theater uh, <laughs> is that where we saw bruce campbell dex i think so yeah 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 uh mark uh penguin what the hell man to beat it like the movie either yeah mark he, Punishment is you got to rewatch this piece of shit and maybe just reassess what the hell you thought was good about. This he, that's not punishment to him. He says it's it's one of his favorite. It's 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 it's. it's, exactly. like, it's I would love to see part two with TNC and Dex. There you mm. go, Mark. If you can get to uh, Ventnor in uh... yeah Atlantic City ish, mm. <laughs> the, 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 it'll be the first uh, haunted pizza meetup. But man, I don't know. It, like I, I was telling Dex before we went live, if I if I had seen this movie in 1989, I I, I would be I don't know. I would love this movie. I love it even more than I do now because uh, it's just if I saw it so, in 89. I, I think it would have had more just the, the ending too. The two kids realizing the the gateway to hell is open, and it ends with them fighting off. Look, I, I know it didn't look the coolest because it was just one hand coming out of the, the 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 tunnel to hell, but man, just in my head, I imagine a whole like a horde, arm, yeah, yeah, a horde of uh, demons and zombies and just incredible stuff. Yeah, like I said, the, concept, the whole concept of this, like the script, this was good. I thought, and I thought the characters were cool too. Yeah, a little bit of. So, yeah, sometimes been, you gotta let your imagination fill in the gaps. It was a little bit of like, you know, budgetary constraints. I think that led to it being a little, eh. yeah. Well, one, mm -hmm. another thing, a cool thing about it was like, like, you know, well, I guess it's a spoiler, but but pretty much everyone got killed too. All the <laughs> yeah. friends, you know, like every, everyone everyone got killed, and that that was kind of cool. Who's yeah, left and, to tell the story? It's gotta be somebody. Well. So it ends with uh so the one girl uh, uh Melissa was it played by Lex I just know it was played by Lexi Drips um, <laughs> she she escaped but she, but uh the main guy said whatever you do don't take your mask off because Maybe you'll see her in the next one the the monsters will uh ignore you if you're wearing a mask because they just think you're one of the monsters as well mm. so she's driving away in the van and once she gets far enough away. She takes her mask off, and of course, there's a pumpkin in the in the back of the van, and that lights up. The eyes light up. Yeah. So the the uh, you know the the pumpkin headed monster is you know most likely going to get her. And yeah. That's, that's how it is. Yeah. Um, do you think that's where the Walking Dead got their uh, their idea for that wearing the uh, the zombie masks to walk among the zombies? Oh yeah, I'm sure that's where they got the idea. I mean, Kirkman <laughs> ripped off a lot of stuff for Walking Dead. I mean, he he ripped off a comic book series called The Walking Dead. <laughs> that is, you know, what, is that true? Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a, a Walking talking? there's a Walking Dead series in the late '80s, I believe, by Air Cell, uh, about zombies and a sheriff. No. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's fucked up. I believe he uh, he. Uh, Paid some uh, hush money to the, that creator, though. Oh, sure. Because yeah. that creator never complains about it. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, Amanda B says it was more corny than anything, but I did stick with it. It had interesting moments. It had lots of questions, like why repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, like why the fuck why? did you make this piece of shit? That was my biggest question. In the like, whole movie. like he gave the girl one can goods so he could be remembered for doing the right thing. Budget restraints, man. Budget restraints. <laughs> and and so the and the woman who uh, made him, you know, collect uh, food that was for Linnea the Quigley, yeah, yeah. Linnea but her, her character name was uh, Barnhart, and right. I, I thought her like name would have played in. To, I thought she would be behind mm. the barn. Yeah, but she wasn't. that's a good point. Yeah. Maybe part two. We'll Maybe all that important shit. Uh, Missy says uh, it was unresolved and made me mad. Yeah, <laughs> or miss. <laughs> yeah. Well, that Missy, yeah, Missy, I, Missy, I was mad too. <laughs> mad that I watched that fucking movie. Uh, Amanda B says the ending was pretty cool that the pumpkin didn't die. Hmm. Yeah, the pumpkin's got to survive. Yeah. 
Mark says, uh, doing the right thing was staying with his friend and literally jumping into the gates of hell to kill the devil. Exactly. <laughs> Kid's a hero. That's baller. Oh, Mark Pengren. Yeah, uh, that Walking Dead uh, series had Dale Keown covers back in the day. Oh, oh stop, shit. stop playing. That's yeah, Dale, Dale's, uh, some of his earliest work was for uh, a publisher called Air Cell. Mm -hmm. Amanda B. No, he wanted the lady to know he tried with the can good. He didn't know he was <laughs> he was jumping at in, into the into hell at the time. He knew he was staying behind to to you know help his friend. <clears throat> I like how Amanda points out canned good. You know, just like <laughs> just one. They they only had the budget for one, one canned can. good. Amanda, in your mind, you're supposed to you know imagine that it was a whole shopping cart yeah of, of goods. now what was the sense of the fucking can anyway like what what was he giving it to her for like so he got in trouble the night before halloween he scared like this uh this yeah, woman uh, who the runs lady. the church yeah, yeah, yeah and as punishment she said he had to collect uh goods for the for like the needy right, right. so food drive thing uh, Seed Miles says, movie was absolute dog poop. <laughs> Listen, Seed, you don't tell him he's the brains of the fucking operation and then go against him about the fucking movie. He's just trying to get you riled up. He, he He's with me 100%. <laughs> Mark says, there was also an indie comic from one of those indie Michigan publishers called Dead World that people claimed he uh, ripped off uh, as well. Yeah, I, I, I heard that too. I think I have someone that Mark. Dead World was uh, from uh, Caliber Comics, I believe. Yeah, I might have a couple of those, yeah. Uh, Amanda says, I was kind of hoping the preacher guy would have realized what happened firsthand and not just be told. Mm. Uh, Mark says, he had a whole sack of candy that he had collected, but it got stolen. Yeah, the miner stole his candy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Amanda, I completely lost why they stopped at the barn. They were headed to a concert. They were doing a little pre gaming, partying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they were only pre game at the concert, though. Well, they had to stop in town because they had to trick or treat and collect goods for the needy. Come on, Chris, keep up with this. This yeah. is that's why you didn't under that's why you didn't like it. You didn't understand I'm it. Not gonna lie, yeah, I understood it fine <laughs> in the beginning. Then you just start checking out. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, then it starts to sound like fucking Charlie Brown. Wong, 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 wong. Like, I, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Who is your thing. favorite monster, Dex? Uh, I like Howl Jack. He, I don't yeah. Know. He's yeah. got the names and shit. <laughs> I, I like the Scarecrow the best. Yeah, he was kind of cool, too. It, there's a lot of cool things about it. I mean, I, I understand why everybody hates on it, but I don't know. There's some cool stuff in it. Who was the bitch grinding the fucking... She was grinding some dude and like eating it when the guy walked in on her. It was a monster. That's the miner. That's a guy. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like, fine. We'll, yeah, go, fine. we'll go minor. <laughs> the director. Oh. He's the yeah. biggest villain of all, fucker. Oh, my. <clears throat> God. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Holy shit, Mark's speechless. <laughs> uh, Cor Corey says, uh, that's crazy he ripped off The Walking Dead and the other one's uh, cover look was cooler. Uh, Mark says, and the little kid from the beginning of the movie is the man that's helping them and smashing pumpkins all grown up. Mm. Oh, yeah, so the, the kid who runs off at the beginning after the, uh, girl got the, the little girl the gets pickaxe. spiked in the head with the pickaxe. He is at the big uh, Halloween party that the Hoot Nanny that Dex keeps talking about, <laughs> and he, he's like angry. He's going around town smashing pumpkins because that's how they that's how they know where you're at. Because uh, uh, Hello Jack is that his uh yeah, his yeah. name Dex? Yeah. Uh, he can see through all pumpkins. So mm. yeah, I, that's, that's pretty I thought cool. that was a nice touch. Yeah, yeah like, like I have a pumpkin headed character and. I, I, that, I, I wish I thought of that. <laughs> hey, if we learn nothing here today, is you can steal comic book shit and make it your own. <laughs> well, you got to pay. You got to you you have hush money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just by the budget of that movie, you probably pay to do 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> no one would believe you watched uh, The Bar. Well, we'll let you know how to <laughs> <It's> <laughs> 
Yeah, Mark and I will let you know how the sequel is, Chris. So. <laughs> Please do. I'm looking forward for, uh, to it. Uh, it's good. It's going to be a big. Uh, so, oh, yeah. so, so, Dex, the movie came out already. The sequel. Why? Why is it they? Why are they having a premiere years later? <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> It even adds more to the lore, I guess. Right yeah. Maybe, maybe they couldn't get the one actor to show up, you know, at the premiere or something. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know anything about it because I, I want to be, you know, I want to go in with yeah. uh you know no uh spoilers, but but Missy uh looked it up and she says uh sorority uh girls are involved in the sequel. Okay. Come on, Chris. <laughs> all right, hold up. Chris, Chris yeah. is like here, all right. Yeah. Now you're speaking my language. You know. Come on now. <laughs> Uh, you're surprised we can get a you know we can get into when properly motivated uh mark says and the whole point of this is because back in the 1800s the crops went dead and everyone was going to die so the town made a pact with satan to sacrifice human flesh for the fertile crops there you go how cool is that <laughs> yeah. i love how passionate he is about it man I good old ice pick man good old ice pick <laughs> He's fighting for this one. I, I appreciate it. I, it. Even like me and Bot agree, it's a it's a cool concept. Mm. It's just executed terribly. Uh, Amanda B is saying maybe COVID, the SAG mm. strike. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think anyone in that movie was in the Screen Actors Guild. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was affected by you know, the strike. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Seed Miles says Graves all in for the sorority girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hundred <laughs> percent. After after this, he's gonna be like, "So when are we going? What day is this?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to watch the trailer. If I see like if, if it's promising, I'll let you know. Yeah, I think tickets are still available, Mark. So okay, we we might have to uh, include yeah. Enrico and Chris in in this little experience. No touching yourself in the theater, Mark. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman didn't work for him. So be doing that shit. It didn't hurt him either, really. True. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so I, I I think the consensus is thumbs up for uh for the barn. I'm giving it thumbs up. Yeah, there you go. But come on. <laughs> but I'm giving it thumbs up because I really like the concept and I have a soft spot for Halloween and pumpkin head characters. You there do. you go. You and after Ice Pick's description, that you gotta you gotta give it a thumbs up, man. So. One of the best movies we've ever watched. According <laughs> to Ice Pick. I'm not I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> yeah. There goes Graves. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think so. I, I let uh, after after letting our, mm -hmm. our forcing uh, the chat to sit through the chair, which no one really sat through because they all stopped watching it. Um, well, uh, I let nice stick side of me kind of fucking <laughs> run people the wrong way sometimes, <clears throat> even though that's what watching this movie felt like. Yeah, if I had to be honest. Uh, Amanda B says, if thumbs up or down, it's thumbs up, but not better than others we watched. I'm your point. Uh, Seed Ma, has the panel ever agreed together on a movie? Uh, the Fog, uh, yeah. Terrifier, Terrifier 2. Yeah, we mm -hmm. definitely have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Top six for me. I don't think all four <laughs> of us have given thumbs down, though. Mm. Yeah. Well, I, I usually can find the good in a movie. Have you ever given a thumbs down, Mark? I'm not putting you on the spot. It's just for real. Well, I, I didn't like... Uh, no, there's been movies I didn't like. I, I didn't like The Chair. I thought Roddy's okay. Piper's uh, performance was good, but I didn't yeah. like I didn't like it. Uh, there's mm. There's got to be uh, uh, other movies I didn't like. It is but, rare, uh, though, about a Binkster. Yeah. No. Like Mark <laughs> likes everything, so... <laughs> Look, I know a lot of hard work went into these. Uh... Yeah, sure. well, everybody works hard on everything. What, what would you know about that? You're a writer. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Mark says I think all four agreed on Maniac Cop. Mm -hmm. I, I think we all yeah. liked uh, Maniac Cop think, one and two. I think two, we yeah, hated they're, they're... the rest. <laughs> How many did we watch? How four. many did I watch? Did we watch three or four? Is there is there four? I can't even remember. There is, yeah. Uh, we, we didn't watch four. I don't think we watched three. We watched three. That was with the female maniac cop, wasn't it? Like his bride? Mm. Or is that four? I can't remember. I don't know. 
I can't either. I, I thought we did one and two, and we cut it off because we didn't want to like linger on the. the yeah, six. I think that's what we did. No, I think after Maniac Cop three, we were like, no more watching every. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mark mm-hmm. says there were only three, so three was that where where he had the bride, mm-hmm. and after that, I was like, we're not watching every movie in a in a series now. Mm-hmm. All right, so I let Amanda be to make up for uh, the chair. I let her pick the next movie, and she gave me five movies to choose from. And out of those five, I picked one. Oh, yeah. No, wait, wait, wait to throw it to the panel so we can all fucking vote on it. Look, Air Bud, Air Bud. Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm not watching. Hey, Air Bud Spooky Ball Buddies Ball. is a classic. Yeah, and it's Halloween theme, so Enrico's gonna love it. Yeah. No, uh, so I picked Bone Tomahawk. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a. That movie's yeah, fucked good. up, man. That's a good movie. All right, there we go. Yeah, I, I, like I can't it. believe she watched it. Yeah, she, she has like shit. Like, oh, uh, she has. It. Oh. I like it already. This is Sheriff Franklin Hunt. Identify yourself right now, or I'll ready, shoot man. you dead. That's a brutal one. There's a uh, situation. Mrs. O'Dwyer was abducted. You know who did this? I don't have a name. How many of them do you think there are? It won't matter. You have no chance against any number of them. I'm riding out with Mr. O'Dwyer. As will I. I've killed more Indians than everyone here put together. Ambush! You seen all this? We didn't know what it was like. We'll make sure all this has value. Kurt Russell for me has to be like one of the best actors, man. Without a doubt, man. Yeah, he is. He's, he's top. The other guy's good too. <laughs> no, for real. The other guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, yeah. He played, um. In Watchmen, yeah, 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 yeah. The guy that played the owl or whatever, yeah. I, I just forget watch. his name. Aquaman's brother. <laughs> he's, yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's really good too. So, yeah. so both of those, they should deliver, you know, a, a certain caliber of performance in every movie. Uh, hey, well, hey, what happened there, Skip? I accidentally. I don't. I don't have a mouse, so I'm like, <laughs> and I'm, I'm all thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, you're you're a little shaky with the fingers, huh? <laughs> And it, you shouldn't be fooled by that trailer. I mean, that may look just like an all-out western. There, there are some horror elements in it. So. No, so there yeah. was there was a, uh, an extended uh, trailer. Yeah, that's uh, creepier, but it's a yeah. little longer, and I didn't want to. I didn't want one for sure. I didn't want to get a copyright crazy. strike. Yeah. Do you see yeah. this, Mark? No, no, I'm looking forward to it though. Mm, yeah, yeah this looks really good. It was a good pick. I, I saw it, Mark. I love that movie. So, but you see, I can't remember if you said you saw it or not. No, I'm looking forward to seeing it. It looks good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Seed Moss says, already digging the old time vibe. Uh, Amanda B says, I didn't watch it. I was scrolling on Tubi. Mike D says, Bone Tomahawk is awesome. Hot girl, sick, sick action. There you go, mm-hmm. uh, Corey mm-hmm. Barton. Hot girl. Chris is, uh, Chris is excited. <laughs> Amanda B said, the story seems strong. And that's that's the recurring theme in all these movies we watch. Good stories. Yeah, the writing, right, Mark? Yeah, Yeah. writing above all else. (laughs) Like sometimes, you know, we'll accept uh, shoddy FX if the story's there. No, no. (laughs) Fucking um, C C Miles says looks good. Yeah, yeah, it definitely does. It uh, it definitely is. The best part about it, Dex, is I don't even have to fucking watch it. I've already seen it, so now (laughs) it's already done. There you go. So you'll be here next week. I didn't say that. I just said the movies. <laughs> I already watched it. Mark says it looks good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Amanda B says, uh oh, Mark's gone. I, I X'd out of the wrong tab. Uh, oh no, where's Mark? <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Wilson. Uh, Patrick Wilson's in a lot of good movies. Yeah. That's uh, that's the guy from the Conjuring. Yeah. 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 That's, that's Patrick Wilson. Okay. Thanks, Mark. He's great. Yeah. Uh, Mike D. Amanda is in for a doozy when it yeah. comes to the scene. Yeah, there's one scene, Mark. Worse than the Terrifier? Close. It's up there. Oh, yeah. wow. And it's just a... You ever watch like, some of those horrors where it's just grueling? 
like yeah. you know all the way through you just feel this pressure and this it's yeah. just rough all the way through it's, this is one of those movies. it's pretty savage yeah it's definitely savage <laughs> like the one scene in the chair <laughs> 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's worse, the uh, the the salt scene in Terrifier, or the the scene in the chair? <laughs> the the Terrifier too. Beach. Yeah. The salt yeah. Beach. I almost jumped out of my chair when that. That was that was. Oh, I, I watched it like that. That was horrible. Uh, Mike says, "How can you go wrong with Kurt Russell?" Yeah, man. And uh, Mike D says, "Unforgettable scene." Yeah, yeah. It's good. There you have it, guys. Uh, Bone Tomahawk next week. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, like I said, uh, uh, Rise and Pain books are supposed to ship tomorrow with an estimated arrival date of Friday. If mm -hmm. Chris is available, we'll, we'll start signing Friday night. We'll have a big uh, signing party. Yeah, man, let me Love know. You. Yeah. You're gonna, let me know. You're going to go like live, Mark? Or Yeah, yeah, we'll be streaming. Cool. Cool. Yeah, check it out. Man. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll keep you posted on, uh, on Twitter, but... Uh, before we uh, wrap up, anything you guys want to promote or uh, mention? Uh, just, uh, no, go ahead, Dex. Go ahead. Uh, got just still working on that, uh, you know, that one book, Mark. That's about it. The um, Beast of Blood. So okay, it's coming along pretty good. Cool. Enrico, um, I've been working on my game, uh, pretty pretty uh, hardcore, and I thought I finished uh, all of my. Uh, game cards so that's uh oh, awesome thing for me uh yeah, for all my games oh, oh, nice. uh, everybody will see them eventually you oh. know you know show one or two yeah that's a cool style it's it's like cool. on the house there's like the back of the card cool little nice. pumpkin pattern and yeah got a lot of cool oh, that's cool. awesome awesome thanks yeah i don't show them all but you know it's uh coming along and I've been putting a lot of work into that. Hopefully when that's done, getting back onto the Black Demon. Black Demon's like mm. ready for coloring. Oh, nice. that's awesome. Uh, yeah. Seed Mile wants to know what Amanda B uh, top five were. Yeah, what are the other four, Mark? Uh, I don't know <laughs> what Amanda's I don't know what Amanda's uh, top five would be. Uh, no, she she think, hated everything think, for the longest time. <laughs> I think I think Seed was talking the five movies she was sent to you. She picked right. Oh, what were the other five? Yeah. Oh, um, let me see. Uh, Stir of Echoes. Okay, Kevin, that's I mean, Kevin Bacon that's movie, Kevin right? Bacon. Yeah. Um, Bone Tomahawk. Uh, Daybreakers. Mm. That's a vampire movie, right? Yeah, I think I saw that. Yeah. I like Tomahawk, Tomahawk, but that was like a different. And I forget the other. Uh, to uh amanda says the one with the school dance and water pistols was pretty good hmm? what was the school oh school day school, school dance and the water pistols was that neon maniacs yeah mm. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> you just said that was all thumbs down right? <laughs> um Man to be, I don't know about top five. I can't remember them all, but the fog number one. I like the Halloween anthology. That's Tales mm -hmm. of Halloween. Yeah. That um I pick. Maniac. <laughs> you didn't pick it. Oh, no. <laughs> Enrico and I watched it while we were in Denver. And then, oh, then yeah, you, yeah. And you were That's like, Oh, it. I saw that. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, I but you couldn't remember any of the shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I remembered a couple. <laughs> uh she liked Maniac Cop. The kid that held his babysitter hostage. Oh yeah, uh, that was uh, better watch out. Yeah, that was. Oh, that. Did we we watch watched that? a lot of great ones during Christmas. Mm. That's true. Yeah, yeah, Nutcrackers especially. That was fucking top tier. <laughs> uh, I mean, that had an unforgettable scene. But yeah, on Christmas we watched. Uh, uh, what was that one with uh, Santa versus Krampus? Cramp. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's the Halloween one. I mean, uh, I don't a, know. A, Chris like a Christmas uh, anthology, a, a Christmas horror story. That's, That's what it was called. Yeah, yeah. And of, of course, how can you forget Silent Night, Deadly Night Two? No, mm, oh, right. That was, good. <laughs> that was a classic. That was a classic. Yeah. Trash day. Better watch out. We wa uh, watched uh, Jack Frost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I, I think I think we were kind of split on Jack Frost. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
Mark Pengren, that wasn't a bad movie. It just seems like the some scenes that were added context to the story were cut out. Oh, they're talking about Neon Maniacs, which Amanda B. liked. Yeah. And Mark says, uh, that was Enrico's uh, Neon Maniacs. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, uh, she also picked Bubba Hotep, the oh. uh, Bruce Campbell movie. Oh, that's a we should do that one after my that one's amazing, man. That well, one's well, hold on, Chris wants hey. to pick a movie. Oh, pick it, like, right. Share nope. the fucking wealth here. Let's not step on Chris's toes. <laughs> well, yeah. he's gonna, he's... I'm gonna pick Chris... the biggest dog shit. He's gonna make himself angry. Yeah, <laughs> the joke's on him. He's yeah. gonna just show up <laughs> miserable. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did I do this for? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm gonna be like, man, great pick, Chris. Yeah, I really yeah, enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the effects weren't there, but the story really the carried it. <laughs> and the writing was brilliant. <clears throat> I'm just gonna pick a short or like or the trailer is my pick. Make it <laughs> easier. I like it. Well, <laughs> I've said I've said this numerous times. You're all welcome to pick movies. Just throw them in our uh our uh, DM group that we have. Mm, okay. But no one wants to do the work, so I, I do. I do the work for us. <laughs> Amanda stepped up. Fair enough. Yeah, she, yeah, she picked some great ones. Mm -hmm. All right, so that that'll do it uh, for this week. Uh, uh, Mark, thank you uh, for sharing some links as, as well. Nicholas Gear, uh, guys, again, U.S. Assassin on Fund My Comic right now. Back that and Relentless Tin Soldier three, and get uh, two extra trading cards. Rise and Pain still open. We're going to shut it down any day now. Uh, books go. arrive, books arrive this uh, this Friday, fingers crossed, and uh, we'll see you Wednesday, I guess, for a revolution. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.